Mental note to self. Yeah. Never again open up a war on two impossible fronts. Und never again go within 150 miles of Moscow during the winter. <laughs> oh, and remember to buy cyanide capsules at the store. Hmm. Adolf Hitler. Sexual. Jackie, I got the thing you wanted. It's big. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. Dr. James is looking for you. Frank. Frank, I'm so sorry about Eddie. Oh, you mean Edward? He's right over there waiting by Dr. James's office. Okay. Go on over there, alright? Okay. Hello. Oh, I've got to talk to Johnny. Hey, Jackie. He says he lives I got in the thing you wanted. Kind of it's big. Place. Johnny, talk to me. What is all this? Some kind of darkness trick? Nice finger That's movement. I told them, but they wouldn't believe me. They got bad wrists from all the computers. I tried to get your rocket in here, but it was too big. That's why I don't go outside no more. Johnny, you gotta help me get out of here. You think there's some kind of secret key to everything, Jack? <laughs> it's Tuesday. You take your medicine and then you get your meatloaf. <gasps> I love Damn meatloaf. It. I don't even like meatloaf. Get away, Johnny, you right. fucking bitch. Off you go. Just like that. Was the Jeremy Kyle show on? No, it's a silent film. Oh. George. Larry. George. Larry. How are you today, Jackie? Better now. You have a great day, Jackie. Don't patronize me. Dr. James is waiting, Jackie. Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this yeah. morning. Yeah, it's Gravestone, Please, or whatever his name is. Can I sit down now? Yay! Yes! Yes! No, I'll I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jack? I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away, because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You do you really do sound like a person that is do psychologically you? in a job. Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not going to skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You're not keeping okay, me here. Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is Stay chill. Happen. Stay chill. Ready? It's oh, chillax, bud. Jackie, it's chillax. I know you're upset, but I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Jesus Fine. Christ. Patronize. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm. It wouldn't be Jackie. Nurse Jenny, really. You yeah. think about it. It sure. would be like Jenny Never Romano say. or whatever her Doc. name is. Nice face. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. Yeah, let's go see Jenny. Yeah, I like Jenny. <laughs> there you are. Ah, oh, I get it. Yeah, I get this. Everything in his mind is uh, is all centered around himself. It's Jenny. Jackie, I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. Yeah. It's a very positive sign. Yeah. I really want to skip through this because I want to get some. Uh, let's just listen. No, I drink my coffee. My coffee. We all are. Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No, no, not you two. Not you two. What the fuck is happening? Use Jess, your quiet voice, calm, not your darkness it's voice. Going to be all right. Now, last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family and that your house was under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you. That wasn't a delusion. 
That just happened. I know it did. Oh no. I know it feels real. Stab Jackie, him in the bone with it's... syringe and just Jenny, send him off to Dreamland. To me. I think this might be hell. A and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. Yes. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think I, you're I knew reality. that. I already knew that. My family, my, my friends. The darkness. Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right, and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? Do some crazy shit. What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Whoa, big Go guy. Right. Easy, Jackie. Let oh, go of me! God. Come on. You were doing All right, here we go. Easy, easy. Calm down. There we go. There's a syringe. Keep him still. Geronimo! <laughs> cool, man. Get this stuff done. Get them all, would you please? Avoid the orderlies. Yeah, run over the door. This way. There's nothing out there for you. Yeah, there is. Civilization. Power to the people. See, as long as the bloodline continues, the I like these little talks he has. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad just sitting on my bed, hovering over me, butcher knife in his hand. Who really? Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery. I'm making sure no one else will take his place. And see how that's a double-edged sword. Make it stop, Jackie. Jack Jesus. I can't believe it. You're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Oh, those are my fucking mom. <laughs> Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. 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 They killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he... Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all going to shit. Oh Your yes. The yes it is. Chase them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? Yes. We can't let the brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not going to Get happen. up all out my face, boy. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants his brotherhood jack off dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands is not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what if? Uh, what if she isn't even real? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my aunt Sarah's funeral. And I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing. Think, 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 think. A lot of this but thing. Think. Yeah, these are cool. Ah, oh, got a lot of, got a lot of essence as well. This is good. So it's either black hole shenanigans, swarm, which I've heard is quite good. I read on a forum. It uh, stuns them. These I couldn't really care about. Um, I don't know about these. Oh, I tell you, I'll get black. I'll get black hole. Yeah, cool. And I believe it's F. Okay. Hey, good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I want to kill someone. Come on then, let's go for a run. Frank. Hey, Jackie. Yeah, Frank. Good to see you back. 
Those fucking weirdos tried to drag you off. We were able to turn them around after you took so many of them out. <laughs> we just couldn't get to Aunt Sarah in time. Frank, I'm sorry about Eddie. You did the right thing, boss. Nothing else you could have done. We're gonna take care of his wife, though, right? Of course. We'll look after his family. Yeah. Thanks, boss. That means a lot. Ah, oh, it's crap that hard. See, if you didn't see the episode where you you get a comp a monitor or whatever in front of your screen, Wait, what's up? Jackie? and uh, so, uh, basically you've up, got to huh? choose between Frank or the other guy. Too bad about the old lady. She was nice to me. What a dick! I'm gonna kill you. Say hi to everyone. There's the one. The one time Nigel finally takes me out, they destroy the place. <laughs> Gonna need more than me to clean up this mess. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on, oh, you fucking Jackie. You don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Has it, son. I'm just. I'm just so sorry about your aunt. And you better say we're getting an arm behind the back you know, of Jackie. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I want to go up and see anyway. Oh, I thought they would have at least cleaned the blood up off the floor. Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. I want to know where this panic room is anyway. I didn't see it on my little journey round. Yet he still wears the same clothes. Lovely. Oh. Where's this panic room? Hmm. I don't care. Hop! 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 Ah, oh, god damn it. Yep! Yeah. Oh, you should be able to jump over it. Yeah. Balls it up. Right, yeah, let's just go. Time to go say goodbye to You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. Yeah. Let's do this shit. Come on, man. Yeah. Hunting for relics. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's. Real shithole of a bar. But the waitress, biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in a hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny and my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I'm finally healed up, Aunt Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did. By leaving you alive, I would guess. That's cool. Oh no, 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 I'm not back in this place, am I? Oh no. Nice slippers. Gonna get me some.